people, Ronnie and Musa here today, and today we're here with another chess lesson. Today we're going to tell you about the pieces points and a little bit more about the king. Before we move on with the lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. So, uh, I'm going to tell you a little more about the pieces and the points and... Yeah, and more about the king. So, the most, most of, do you remember what this piece is called? Pawn. How much does it worth? One point. The pawn worth one point. Okay, so each side has eight pawns, as we told you in the last video. Next piece I'm going to tell you about is this. Do you remember what this piece is called? Tell us down in the comments below. What is this piece called? A horse. I mean knight. Okay. As we told you last time, this might look like a horse, but it's a knight in chess. It moves in the L shape, and if it's over here, it can move these three spots, because it's here, one, two, three, four. The, this makes an L. This whole thing makes an L. Musa. How much is this piece worth? It worth three points. The whole knight worth three points. Next, I'm going to tell you about the... If you know what this piece is called, tell us down in the comments below. We said this piece in our last video. What is this piece called? A bishop. This is called a bishop. How much does this worth? Three points. This worth three points. Okay, so the, this is over here, and if you remember where it moves, tell us down in the comments below too. This can only move diagonal. This is a black bishop, this is a white. This can only go on white, this one, and this can only go on black. The next one I'm going to tell you about is this piece. Do you know what this piece is called? Tell us down in the comments below. Musa, what is this piece called? A rook. How much does it worth? It worths five points. The rook worths five points. The rook only goes straight. It goes in a plus sign like this. It goes up, down, Sideways, sideways. Okay, the next piece I'm going to tell you about is the most powerfulest piece on the board. Before I could tell you more about that piece, please like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. So, this is the most powerfulest piece in the whole chess board. You cannot let it get captured. What do you, what is this piece called? Musa, do you know what this piece is called? It's called a queen. How much is it worth? It worths nine points. This has the most points. Because if it's going to be taken away, they'll get the most points. Okay, the queen can move in a snowflake position. If you don't know what I mean by that, since this has a whole open space, it can go all over the place, but it cannot jump. So this, what I mean by snowflake, this is a plus sign, and then there's the cross over it, which makes it into a snowflake. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you about the piece that is the main thing of the game. Do you know what this piece is called? Musa, do you know what this piece is called? It's called a king. How much points does it have? Zero. It worth the whole game. This, this worth zero because you can never ever capture the king. So, the king can never be left in danger. So, I'm going to teach you about how the game overs and how 
the king can be in danger and what do you call it? Okay, so Musa, what is it called if the king is in danger? Check. When the king is in danger, it's called check. Because you have when like pretend he's my opponent and he put me he took his queen down here. So he'll right away say check. So that means that my king is in danger. So I have to use the three ABCs, which I'm going to tell you later. So, Musa, can the king capture the queen? No. Why? Because it's too far. It can only move one block. Yes. So if I move my, if he moves his queen all the way down here, now can I capture your queen? Yep. Why? I can capture his queen because he has no support behind him. So I can capture and I won't be in danger. Okay. So back here. So the chess ABC is OA block capture. It, it's only if your king is in danger. It's called the ABC of chess. So if my king is in danger, A is going to be away. So I could move here, 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 and here. B is block. I can move my king, I mean my um, bishop over here. Because it moves diagonal. So I can block the attack. C is capture. So I can capture the queen. Musa, what do you think is the best move to do? Away, block, or capture? Capture. Why? Because then it would leave the king with nothing. He's right. Plus, if we did block, he, they, he could capture the bishop. Or, if we did away, he would capture this. So for right now, the best move could be capture. So when we capture the queen, we're over here. So we're safe. See my board right now. It's Musa's turn. Musa, what would you move? This. Where would you move it to? Here. Okay. So... And I check. Yeah. Okay. So he thinks I'm check. Well, I'm not. I'm check and mate. How? Check and mate means that I can't capture. I can't away, block, or capture. My three ABCs can't be used for at all. So he won because his bishop is sitting here supporting the queen. If I move there, he's attacking that, there, attacking, attacking. He's attacking each spot because the queen can attack here, 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 and there. So which means he attacked all places for me, which means I'm done. So the queen cannot capture me because the king wants zero points and the king is the whole game. So no one can ever, ever, ever capture the king. So that's, uh, we were just going to teach you check-in checks and check-in mates how to end the game. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time. Bye.